This short video is going to be how to control things with variables by learning how to read and write variables in the LEGO Mindstorms program. So let's start in the main Mindstorms education programming menu and let's start with naming our program. We'll just name it Variable Tutorial. Click Go. So we start out here as always. We want to make sure that we are using the second block here because we want to use more complex things than are in the uh, common palette. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to make a loop around the whole program because we want this to do it do it for a long period of time. And then the first variable we want to read, um, or the first thing we want to get in is the sensor from the e-meter. So here's our e-meter. And we want the input into the e-meter because we are um, getting input from either the solar or the wind station. Um, so, so we're getting power into the e-meter. So that's what we want here. So what this is doing is it's going to compare it with something. And it'll only right now it'll only output a value if it's less than 5. And our, the data source is V in. We're going to make it, um, instead of V in, we're going to make it watts in. And we want the watts no matter what value it is. So we're going to make it less, all the way up to 10, less than 10. So really it's going to output any value. And then the port it's measuring in is port 3. So we want to make sure we have that too. The first thing we want to notice about this block is that it has uh, this little number out. That's where the sensor reading comes out. So we need to attach that to a variable so we can store that. So we're going to get a variable from this menu. And and actually, I'm sorry, it's this menu, from the data menu. And we want a variable, so we're going to put a variable in there. Now, this variable is in the read mode, and that's why the block is faced this way. We want it in the write mode. And we don't want a logic, which is what it is right now. We want a number. So we could just choose the default number one, but we might want a couple different variables. So what we're going to do is make a couple more variables. So we're going to go to Tools. First, we're actually going to go to Edit and Define Variables. Okay, so see, there's the logic one, number one, text one that we see. We want to create one. And let's just do Watts in 1. So that way we know what we're talking about. And we don't want it to be a logic, we want it to be a number. So we'll close. So now it's number one, but see, now we have the Watts in 1 that we just created. And we are writing this so we could write a value in here but the better way to do it um, if we just wanted to write a value of three say we could put it in here but then it wouldn't change depending on what our watts in is so what we need to do is connect this into our watts in and so what that's going to do is now it's going to take the whatever it measures from the e-meter the watts in and write it into the watts in one variable so the next thing we can do is we can control something uh, with this. So how we do that is we can first get our normal switch, okay, and then we can say now instead of a sensor we want it to do a value. And we can do the value, um, um, we want to be value of logic, so true or false. So we want to do something with this true or false, though. So basically, we want to we do something if the watts is high, where it would be true, and something else if the watts is low. Okay? So what we can do is we'll go and we need a compare. So the compare is under the data. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take our watts in and compare it to if it's less than what we'll do if it's greater than a certain value so let's just say if it's greater than 0.1 watts or 100 milliwatts then we're going to do something so if a a is the watts in if a is greater than 0.1 this will return true so what that means is it'll go up here. So if A is greater than 0.1, we probably 
our motor, we probably just want to stop there. Basically what that's saying is if you have a high power, you want to stop where you are at. Even with, with the wind or the solar, you want to do that, right? So if it's less than that, we probably want to move some amount of rotation, right? Probably not unlimited. Probably a certain number of degrees. Let's just say 10 degrees. Okay, obviously you guys will control this and then we'll break after we're done. So what this whole program is going to do is that it's going to measure at, at all times, it's going to measure the, at the energy meter in. It's going to store that in watts in so we can use it later. And then it's going to compare that number in watts in to 0.1. If the number is greater than 0.1, it's gonna. This is gonna read true, so it's gonna go up here, and the motor's gonna stop. That basically means you have high power, so you want to stop. And then if it's less than 0.1, this is gonna read false, which is the X, and so we're gonna move at 10 degrees. And that is your introduction to variables.